Hi, my name is Doug Myers. I'm the Maryland Senior Scientist at Chesapeake Bay Foundation. We're standing on the shores of Lake Ogleton. It's a uh, uh, estuary that enters the uh, Severn River near Annapolis. There is a fish kill here associated with the passing of tropical storm uh, Isaias. Uh, this was something that affected a number of the tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, because in the summertime, they generally stratify, which means the warm surface water doesn't mix well with the cooler bottom water. And that bottom water tends to get low in dissolved oxygen because there's no exchange between the surface and the bottom. When a tropical storm comes, those winds blow across the surface of the water and it flips the entire system upside down. So low dissolved oxygen water that's been at the bottom comes to the surface, no oxygen for the fish to breathe and they die suddenly. So a fish kill generally is any time a water quality parameter changes rapidly and the fish either cannot escape it or their physiology is overwhelmed by the change. It could be a change in oxygen, a change in pH, a change in the concentration of a metal. Uh, any of those things that change rapidly and that overwhelm the, the fish's physiology can often result in a, a rapid die off. Well, they could be a change in temperature. Uh, so for example, if it's a hot sunny day and it rains just a little bit to deliver some hot water to the surface, that rapid change in temperature can, can kill fish. Uh, a change in the dissolved oxygen is what happened with the tropical storm. Uh, any change in chemical composition, say if a metal would wash off of the surface uh, from a strong rainstorm. So it's usually stormwater related, some change in the surface water conditions that happens rapidly that changes the chemistry of the water. So any of the work we're doing in trying to clean up our stormwater uh, systems is, is all going to help. Uh, whatever you can do to reduce impervious surfaces, keep shade on the landscape so that the water is cooler when it does run off. Uh, when water is able to soak up into the landscape and run off slowly as opposed to quickly, that's going to help um, prevent fish kills. And then just all of our overall across the six state and District of Columbia efforts to reduce nitrogen, phosphorus and sediment across the whole landscape. It's going to make those dissolved oxygen uh, areas in the deep water less severe so that when we do have an, uh, an issue like a tropical storm, it doesn't make the fish kills as widespread. Uh, reported in, the Department of Environment has a, a fish kill reporting uh, hotline. That's very important to get that information reported quickly because they can match up the event where somebody sees the fish kill with recent water quality data that's either collected by the state or organizations like Chesapeake Bay Foundation or the water keepers, because they're out there almost every other day collecting that water quality uh, data. And if you can match up when you see something wrong with the water quality data and a uh, fish kill that's recent, then you can uh, better diagnose what was the cause.